Hey everybody, it's Itachi Fan, and uh, I wanted to give another update. I haven't been, I didn't post as recently as I wanted to, but here I am, and I'm going to do it anyways. I just got back from work, and um, anything new with me physically, I'm going to say that as of right now my belly's getting a little bit chubbier it's getting a little bit more fatter i i see that it's like it's not going out like wide like that but it's more like like my body fat i'd never really had to be honest i've always been super skinny my metabolism was always through the roof which is a huge reason why I want to get myself going into a gym, get myself working out, and my job has a gym. Well, what you would consider a gym, and I may just take time to exercise there when I can. Uh, but I know that my body fat is distributing differently, and... Um, my chest is definitely showing a lot more and I with baggier clothes I could hide it I know that but with tight clothes it's almost it's it's almost seen like it like it's clear that there's something there and people will see that if I wear a bra I could definitely conceal it like hide it a lot better but that with that being said um oh and my hair is getting thicker it tangles up with i almost brush it as m many times as i can and even after i brush it, it still gets tangled up i i like it i like how thick it is and it's like it's nice and long and i like it i like how it looks and and i'm thinking maybe um I'm thinking maybe down the road when I have money and money is a lot better um, I wouldn't mind styling it but with that being said I am going to talk about a something I wanted to talk about which is a big thing that I knew I would struggle with and I knew wasn't going to be easy which is insurance so i know as a going into the big concept here uh insurance i never had the opportunity to really afford insurance a lot of times insurance wasn't um it wasn't good because like like insurance was way too expensive I couldn't afford even the cheapest insurance um, at the time when I was trying to get health insurance uh, the jobs that I had didn't have any good insurance and I had to work there for like two or three years before I could even get insurance so it became a point of like well I guess I'm not getting insurance and when I tried looking for insurance through companies, well, like insurance companies for health insurance, um, they would tell me, hey, we can give you 150 if you pay $150 a month for basic health insurance just for emergency. That That's what I could afford. And that's what they would, well, it's not what I could afford. I couldn't afford it, but that's the cheapest that they could offer me out of all the insurance companies really um at one point they were looking at 330 and another insurance company was like 400 dollars, and this is just for me and only me at my age and people are like yeah you don't have you don't really have credit you don't really have anything good going um we're going to make sure you can't afford this and even some insurance companies were like yeah um, you don't qualify. So some health insurance companies didn't even want to qualify me or accept me. But I know when 
the concept with like um, when Obama became president, he had offered up the insurance and and eventually put in law in the states, put in law that you would have to pay if you didn't have insurance, which um, would try to encourage people who didn't want to pay during tax time uh, that they could get this insurance. And the insurance, when I got it, was like extremely cheap. I'm paying like 50 bucks a month, which is something my age and the job I had, I could afford that, 50 bucks. And so getting through insurance and I finally had gotten a job and the job I'm working at involves getting, um, like, I, I, they offer health insurance. And I'm like, yes, let me get off the insurance that I know isn't really, like, the Obamacare insurance wasn't bad. It could help cover medications. And it was, it was pretty good for medication prices. But, um, and even doctor visits. But I know surgeries and going and getting anything big it wasn't going to get any, it wasn't going to be worth it price-wise. So I wanted to get myself on an actual insurance through a company and my job offers it. So I had taken it and I know the job that I, I work at is like super, in, like super supportive of um, women and I know that my job, which I'm grateful for, is a big, they have a big, like, no harassment policy. There's, like, no discrimination. And I know a lot of companies do that. And there are even some jobs that are like, hey, there's no harassment, but we're still going to, har like, it's okay for you to harass so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so and for just because of who they are, because we don't like it. The job I'm at doesn't like that. And and they're not like that. They They crack down and like it's good it's good but for the insurance like the insurance that they have it they support like the one thing that I like about it is that in the insurance they say that they will help cover transgender related like surgeries and anything involving gender dysphoria so I'm going through this insurance and I'm like yes this insurance is willing to help me and I like it and and the medication that I have is it's n more expensive than my last insurance but it's not something that I can't struggle with like I can I can pay for it it's it's fine so going through this I'm now seeing some insurance like, I know where insurance company, like, how insurance companies work. And one thing that bothers me and it bugs me out and I don't like it at all is the, in, I'm trying really hard because I know the concept, like, it's just starting. The concept is just starting. Not a lot of people who, um... Not a lot of insurance companies even cover anything transgender related, but they won't say that they don't because a lot of times they'll be like, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll help you. We, we aren't going to discriminate at all because if they do, in more times than not, you could possibly have a lawsuit against a company and, and the insurance company would then have to pay and they're going to do everything in their power to avoid any type of lawsuit. So, going down that line, I am trying to get myself, personally, I'm trying to get myself a laser for my face. Now, I know that my hair going through medication is, is a lot thinner, so it's easier for me to shave. It is. But I hate, like, I genuinely hate shaving almost on a daily, because if I don't shave my facial hair can be recognized and the thing is people will misgender me and call me a guy even though I have long hair and even though sometimes they can see that I'm wearing a bra and and the fact that 
I know I'm like flat chested so a lot of people don't I don't think a lot of people notice it and I'm I'm trying my best to like make myself look more of the appearance so people will use the correct agenda and will use the correct pronouns and I want to be able to I want to be able to have like I want to be able to not have to worry about shaving and not have to worry about seeing the dark stubbly area on my face and if I don't see that then I might not even need to put makeup on because I don't mind putting makeup on, but it's not something that, like, I like the more natural look. I like looking more natural, and I wouldn't mind putting makeup on here and there when I'm going out with some friends, but I don't want to be constantly putting makeup on when I go into work, and the thing is, I have to, or I feel the need to have to because of how my face is when I don't have makeup. Everybody can see the dark stubble area. So... I'm trying to get myself covered with insurance and it's it, the insurance company what they had done is that they pretty much in the end I had given them a price given them a notice of appeals because they would they wouldn't they wouldn't accept anything unless if I gave them a notice of appeal so I had my doctor write them a note and sent it to them and then I had gone to I had gone to sending them a price because they said that they haven't they can't accept it because they don't know the cost. So I sent them the cost and they have told me they're like, "Well, we haven't denied you, but if you pay for it, we may reimburse you." So they may give me money back. They may be, they may pay me back. And I know that they're saying that so that way they can't make it sound like it's transphobic. They can't make it sound like they're against women or anything like that. Which is a pain in the neck because I want laser. Laser would make me feel better about myself. And it could possibly help me when it comes to maybe people getting angry because they see the stubble and they look at it and they're like, you're being perverted you're not you're not a woman you're not who you're not truly a woman you're a guy and so having people constantly like having that worry and having that stress it it really affects i know it's a, i know i'm stressing about money and it's it's increased my blood pressure i know i'm sure of it i'm sure that's the reason um but they aren't trying to make it sound transphobic but it's like they I, like I work at a company that is supporting women but me as a person that I I want to identify and I feel the need to identify myself as a woman I don't feel like they're supporting it it, it makes me feel that they aren't aren't like completely there but the insurance company just doesn't want to pay and I get it I understand it and if I was the insurance company I probably would be doing the same thing because I'm not gonna pay like I wouldn't want to pay but this is where it becomes a problem because I have realized that in order to like m what my doctor had stated is in order to get um, gender reassignment surgery so to get bottom surgery to pretty much get yourself the um, right uh, like the right private parts for the preferred gender so like if I was to get bottom surgery I would pretty much go from honestly I'd be pretty much going from having a penis to having a vagina and in order to get that my doctor had said that they require laser they require laser for the bikini area and I know that the laser company that I try to go to they also said the same thing so in order to get that they had told me that I need to get laser down there, but the in my problem is the insurance company isn't going to cover the laser, but they'll cover the surgery. And my doctor had told me that that's what a lot of her patients are waiting on. They're waiting on the money, but they can't afford the laser. So they can't get the surgery because they can't afford the laser. And 
the insurance company isn't going to pay for the laser, but they'll pay for the surgery. So everybody's at a standstill, and the insurance is like, yeah, well, we have pretty much a wall. You aren't going to get coverage because we're not paying for this because they claim it as a cosmetic. Mind you, it's required, it's pretty much required by doctors. They require this. So, it being cosmetic, and the insurance company isn't going to pay for it, it becomes a pain, and it becomes a hassle. And I'm starting to see where people are coming from when it comes to fighting insurance companies. And I want to be able to get in covered, because I know laser for the, like, in my opinion, trans women, from what I have gathered, trans women don't like seeing the facial hair. They would rather get laser. Most trans women that I have heard from online and I have read from online and even me, myself, I want to get laser, but the insurance company isn't going to cover it. And the thing is, getting laser for my face would help me feel more comfortable about myself, make me feel better about myself, would make me feel like I wouldn't have anxiety. I look in the mirror and I genuinely dislike seeing what I see. I don't like it. Like, I know when I can go to bed and I go to sleep, and I don't have makeup on, and my face feels smooth, I feel good about myself. I'm not seeing myself because I have my glasses off, but I feel smooth, and I like it. I like the, the feeling of having a smooth face, and, and it makes me feel better about myself, and I feel happier, but I still have that genuine dislike because I see, what, I see the facial hair, and I know that the facial hair is there. I don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable about myself and it makes me feel like I could possibly I could possibly get myself in trouble by some people like I by some people out in public because they see this and they don't like it and they don't agree with it and they think that it's I'm doing harm and they don't and that's what they see and that's what they think. And I want people to see me as, I want people to see me and identify me as a woman. That's all I really want. And it becomes a, it becomes a problem when, um, when I can't afford it. And I know I'm not going to be able to afford that right now because I'm going to be trying to help get, spend money on my teeth. And I know my teeth is more of a necessity than laser, but... I would genuinely like the laser and it would it would be so much better and I would love for it like I could I could not grasp this concept like I could never like getting as far as I am right now I never grasped it and I could never I never like fully saw this and getting myself this and getting myself through this insurance it's a struggle. It's a battle. And I know the insurance company is, like, wanting to fight. And I get it. I understand. But it becomes pain when there's that, there's that battle, there's that conflict. And my doctor is, like, completely supportive of, of trans women and understands trans women because... They see that, and they get it, and she gets it, and she understands it, and she wants to help, but it becomes a problem. It becomes a problem when the insurance company looks at it as a cosmetic, and a lot of people look at it as a cosmetic. But I know that that going through this, it's n like in as a trans woman, it's not a, it's not for cosmetic reasons. Yeah. I guess the look is going to help, but I know some people have to get certain surgeries that, like, I tell people a breast reduction, like, for somebody who gets a breast reduction, yeah, it could help with their back pain, or they don't want to have a big chest size, so they just, or bigger, they want to have a smaller chest size, so they'll get a breast reduction. 
That is technically a cosmetic. It's to change, it changes the look. A cosmetic is a, a feature that you see. It's what you see, and if you're changing it, it's like, um, getting makeup is a type of cosmetic, um, uh, facial feminization surgery is a cosmetic surgery. I know it is, and I get it. It's like getting, getting, um, laser, laser eye treatment. That is technically a cosmetic. You won't be wearing glasses or contacts anymore. You will have a better look and I, it's what I know that some people identify as a cosmetic and laser is one of them, but I don't see that. That's, that's a thing. I don't see it. And I genuinely think that a lot of trans women would agree with me. And I'm sure a lot of there, there, there will probably be some cis, cisgender people, um, cisgender people that will also agree with me. I'm sure of it, but I know that being, being somebody, especially being somebody who, who is obviously going through it right now, um, it, it would help. It would help and it would make me feel much better about myself, but it becomes a hassle when insurance companies won't cover and they, insurance companies go through a loophole system so they don't have to pay and that is like that is genuinely why I don't I don't get political but it's genuinely why if I was like if I was to vote for anybody um any politician it I would vote for somebody who who I would vote for somebody based on their health insurance policy that is literally my number one and it's always been my number one because I want somebody to be able to support um, this concept that insurance should be a thing for everybody. And the insurance, if we can get insurance for everybody, then there may be a chance that, there may be a chance that insurance would eventually be able to cover laser because then the doctors can push it and push it through instead of having these insurance companies that are just there to make money and there to keep as much money as possible and to avoid paying as much as possible because that's all the insurance companies are doing and that's all they really are doing so i know i rambled i know i vented and i know this is a really long video a lot like twice as long as what i would normally put out on there but I felt it was a needed video and I felt that this video would genuinely help and it would help at least at least it's gonna help me because I'll probably go back and rewatch some of these videos and see where things were back in the day I, I don't it sounds old I said I'm not old I promise you I know I'm not old but it I would look back at some of my older videos and be able to understand what went on and how things were when I was going through these things and to get myself to learn learn because I I want to learn I want to be able to help learn and I'm hoping that some of this stuff gets out there to other people because other people who don't know and who don't understand it or some people who are transgender or who are thinking about being transgender and they're thinking about getting a laser or they're thinking about doing all these things that's what my videos are there for i want to have my videos there for and i don't really edit them i genuinely don't like what you see what i record is what you will most likely see i don't have the i don't have a really good editing software so be that in mind, I just want you guys to know how things are and how I feel, and I'm willing to, I know I'm willing to express it, but if you have any comments, concerns, questions, anything of the sort in between, don't hesitate to put them in the comments down below. I mean anything. I genuinely look at my comments. I will always look at my comments because 
why not? I don't mind it. And if you like the video, don't hesitate to hit the like button. That I will see as well. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more content that will be coming in the near and distant future. But until then, I shall see you guys and gals, peeps of all sorts, whatever that may be. But until then, uh, peace. Hey.